The name's Muncie. That's M-U-N-C-I-E, like the town in Indiana. Yes, sir, Mr. Muncie. Your office told us you'd be arriving. Will you be needing any of our special services this evening? Like bingo? No. Like masseuse, secretary, stenographer, limousine, escort. Escort? This is the sovereign, Mr. Muncie. You can have anything you want. Men in positions of power often find they're in need of discreet company. I'm expecting discreet company. Her name is Vera. Very good. Enjoy your stay, Mr. Muncie. Do you have a reservation? Yeah, I have a couple. But I'm just visiting. Vera? Yes, of course. Mr. Muncie is expecting you. Room 117. No luggage. I'm gonna heat you up real good. Come on. Yeah, hey, Maggie, who do we have in 117 tonight? You sure? All right. It's about time you showed up, Mr. Monsey. Too late for stage fright now. Mm. Tell yourself it's a movie. Can you hear anything? No, yeah, just just music and some sounds like you would not believe. <laughs>
Hey, look. Nick wants Lionel Baker for murder and extortion. That ought to be worth a little self-sacrifice. Sounds like he's sacrificing a virgin. <laughs> ah, they're just putting on a show. Oh, yeah, they're method actors. The question is, uh, which method? I mean, complete control. What do you make of this guy? That guy? Well, it's either a bum or he's a rock star. It's hard to tell which one. So what, man? Who cares? We're after Baker. We're dealing too close to the bottom for any wild cards. I don't like it. Take a chill pill, Moon. I got the whole thing wired. Yes, Maggie. There's some sort of trouble. What kind of trouble? There's a man, he said he's uh, coming after you. I, I thought he was some sort of nut, but I think he's that Safford girl's uh, brother. Maggie, calm down. It's okay. Call forward, then call the police. I'll come straight down. What do you think you're doing? Somebody's shooting. Would you please tell us, in your own words, your recollection of the events preceding Mr. Baker's murder? It was very quiet. We had very few guests in the hotel that evening. Then you would have been more aware of something out of the ordinary. I was, yes. Let's focus on the shooting. You were located here at the lobby desk, correct? Yes. What happened immediately prior to your hearing the gunshots and the explosion? A young man came into the hotel. He seemed very upset, and I, I didn't know exactly why at first. I want to see Baker. I'm sorry, Mr. Baker is unavailable. If you could leave your name... Safford. He'll know the name. I want to talk to him. The bastard killed my sister. I want to talk to him now. So I'm going to have to call security. Call him. Call an ambulance while you're at it. Mr. Baker? Yes, Maggie. There's um some sort of trouble. I didn't kill him. For the record, can you identify the man you saw that night? The man holding this gun? Him. Let the record show the witnesses indicated the defendant, Billy Safford. Hey, I didn't kill anybody. I told you that that night. I would have, but I didn't. It's Baker who should be on trial here, not me. Mr. Safford, sit down or I will hold you in contempt. He killed my sister. Counselor, you get your witness to sit down or we will continue without him. I have nothing else, Your Honor. Your witness, Mr. Kellogg. <coughs> Can you tell us exactly what Mr. Baker's state of mind was that day? I, um... Where are you I, going with this? Oh, I'll rephrase. From your experience of working with Mr. Baker, would you say there was anything different or exceptional about his mood the night he was killed? Not that I... Yes. He <clears throat> seemed very anxious. A man had come to see him earlier in the day, a um, police officer, a Sergeant Dolan. I want to see Baker. It had upset him. Uh, Sergeant. Sergeant Dolan. Vice. Dolan. I don't know the name. Well, I guess you've been one of the lucky ones up to now. 
a busy man, Sergeant. Oh, yes, I know. You are a very busy boy. Hmm. Havana's? Honduras, actually. Hmm. Well, what the hell? I mean, I'm the one smoking it, right? <laughs> hmm. You see, Mr. Baker? I'm the solution to your problem. I didn't know I had a problem. Oh, well, is that little nasty about the dead hooker? What was her name? Uh, Julie, uh... Julie Safford, wasn't it? The case was dropped. Oh, of course. But I mean a dead girl right here in the hotel. That must have been a real mess. Vice, right? I've got some friends in Vice. I'm sure you do, Mr. Baker. But let me save you a dime. You see, you're on the A-list now. And I mean, your file is getting so thick, we need a forklift to carry it around. And now the feds have started snooping around. Something about uh, racketeering, RICO, extortion, prostitution, grand jury, you know, stuff like that. What have they got? Oh, interested now, are we? Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Baker, right now they've got nothing. But they're looking real hard. But the question is, what I have, and they have it. You see, files have a way of slipping through the cracks, getting misplaced, falling behind the filing cabinet permanently. What I mean, Mr. Baker, is you do for me, and then I will do for you. What do you want? It's not a what. It's a who. His name is Muncie. Like the town in Indiana? Muncie? I don't know any Muncie. Oh, Muncie's coming, believe me, Mr. Baker. See, I got a file on him, too. Anything you can get me on that scumbag, and I really appreciate it. It's like your file falling in the shredder. It's easy. How can I contact you? Mr. Baker, do I really look like the dope of the week? You just get me something good on Wednesday. And I'll be in touch. You mind? Mr. Baker was unduly upset after meeting with Sergeant Dolan? Yes, he was. Thank you, Miss Holland. Your Honor, we have made every effort to subpoena Sergeant Dolan with no success. After multiple inquiries with a number of police agencies, we can draw but one conclusion. And what is that? Quite simply, there is no such person. Sergeant Dolan doesn't exist. going to make me swear? <laughs> Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help me God. Let's do it. Mr. Horton, let's do it. Would you state your name for the court, please? <clears throat> Lucille Maxwell. But you can call me Lulu. Everybody does. Of course. Miss Maxwell, were you a guest at the Sovereign Hotel the night of the 7th? A guest of a guest. Would you tell us, please, what you remember? Oh, sure. Um, well, it was really hot, if you know what I mean. And we just, you know, couldn't get enough air into the room. Oh, it's okay, baby. This happens to some of the sweetest people I know. Well, Lulu's gonna make it all better. We just need another drink to help you relax. It's all in the mind. Work on it, and I'll be right back.
and we were really thirsty, so I decided that I was going to, you know, just hop down the hall real quick and run to the little ice machine and just fill up my bucket and come back and... Slow down, honey. That's what I tell all my men. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you lost? You look lost. I bet I can help you find yourself. <laughs> Just a second, sweetie. I'm going to cool you down. Don't worry. Just leave it to Lulu. But first, I'm going to heat you up real good. <laughs> Somebody needs to get their car fixed. <laughs> here? Yes. And then what happened? Well, um, my working girl instincts told me it was time to get the hell out of there. So I did. What is it exactly that you do for a living, Miss Maxwell? I'm a hua. <laughs> Any more questions, Mr. Horton? No, that's all I have. Defense? Uh, no questions, Your Honor. You're excused, Miss Maxwell. Didn't ask to be. Hey, have we met? I'm sure we haven't. Oh, no, I'm not good with faces, but I'd never forget her. I'd remember. Oh, I know you would. Your Honor, at this time, I would like it noted that we have attempted to subpoena the people Lulu, Miss Maxwell, referred to in her testimony, the couple in room 117. The district attorney's office has made every effort to locate Excuse Franklin me. Muncie and his companion, known only as Vera. But you haven't succeeded. No, Your Honor, they're probably using aliases. However, the police department is searching for them as we speak. Nick, that's gunfire. Yeah. We better. We better go. Whoa! The earth just moved. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 no. No, no, not that way. Lobby will be calling the cops in about 30 seconds. Nick, who is Lionel Baker's dead. Get us out of here, Moon, and don't attract any attention. Nick, there's um, somebody with... Tara, I want you to get all the tapes from Baker's office. They've been tagging his evidence downtown. Who asked for that? Well, the defense asked that they be admitted. But I can't do that until I've viewed them, because some of the material might be prejudicial. I'm free if you need some help writing the fast-forward button. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Well, maybe we could, um, take in a classic some night. Maybe. Is there something you wanted to tell me? Oh, yeah, the, uh, lieutenant governor's in your office. He's waiting for you. Oh, okay. Um... Jake! Nick! 
How are you? Great. Uh, awkward, isn't it? You want a friend to ask for a favor? Nick, I'd rather take a whipping. What can I do for you? Maybe just listen. I need some help. I've been following this case closely, and frankly, I'm concerned. Concerned? Concerned and a little afraid. Afraid of where it may be going. You were at the hotel the night Baker was killed. I was prided myself on an excellent poker face. You are too much. Just cut right to it. That's a quality I respect. Jake, you know how much I respect you. But we're getting into some dangerous territory. Obstruction of justice, conflict of interest. I mean, don't cross the line with me. There's, a, there's obstruction and there's consideration. I mean, everybody knows what a son of a bitch Baker was. Now, if this trial gets out of hand, a number of good people are going to be hurt. Good people? You? Yes, me for one. Well, I'm just another credit card number there, but I'm sure I'm in their files. I stayed there. Where else is a public man supposed to go? And Baker, he made it damned easy. Jake, did you ever do Baker a favor? He asked, but no. And that's God's truth. <laughs> Billy Safford did one for me and a lot of other people. Oh, come on, Nick. Sex isn't a weakness. I mean, only pundits and hypocrites claim that it is. A man shouldn't have to lie to protect his privacy. Right to privacy. I'll take it under consideration. No deals. I'm not asking for any. I just don't want to see innocent people like me hurt by evidence that's irrelevant to this case. And trust me, the number is sizable. Neither do I. Whatever you think is right. You're one of the truly good men I know, Nick. But that's why you're here, isn't it? Good judgment. I thought I could pig out on pornography. There must be a hundred hours of tape here. Try four hundred. Eight hours on each set. It's everything from Baker's office. Well, where'd you get them? They were happy to get rid of them downtown. They don't have the manpower to watch all this. Oh, but you do. Hey, we're family. State can't hire help like this. No problem. It's better than the late movie. <laughs> you know, Nick. You could probably rent these out. Because I know there's a market for it. Baker made the participants pay to make sure the tapes never got an audience. He had whoever walked into that hotel in his pocket. Anybody with a name and plenty to lose. Perfect setup. Fat wallets, bare butt. Yeah. <laughs> but mostly power. There's no telling the influence that Baker had. Okay. The innocent people he hurt when he exercised it. That's why I'd like to erase these tapes before I return them. Why not? Work for Nixon. It should work for us. <laughs> what are we looking for? I don't know. Anything to prove that Billy Safford didn't kill Baker. Whoa, Nick. You saw the kid with the gun in his hand. What I saw was a scared kid who looked like a deer on the interstate. Something in his face. The way he moved, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? What doesn't fit? He had motive, he had opportunity means no plan of escape that's not premeditated it's not meditated at all okay an act of passion that kind of passion killing passion it doesn't fade that fast i didn't see rage i saw fear besides you don't blow a safe in a fit of rage it takes planning uh, i still don't buy it we saw baker with with bullet holes in him we saw the kid with the gun in his hand and what else nothing his other hand was empty if he blew the safe and he took something why was he still holding the gun instead of what he took that's right. I mean, I heard gunfire before I heard the explosion. 
That's a hunch. It's not evidence. Prove me wrong. Anyway, we better come up with something sooner or later. Because four of the material witnesses in the Safford murder trial are sitting in this room. Plus, you'd all like to testify. Oh, no, 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 no. I only heard. I didn't see. Yo, what's up? I'm Hervis. Ready to watch security systems? We survey what you display. Excuse me, Mr. Um, Purvis. No one told me you'd be coming, and I can't do anything without proper authorization. Well, they told me to check out the lines, but <laughs> just sign this, and I'm out of here. <laughs> Leave it to the night shift. But that is a premium call, and they will charge you double. Maggie, get the security company on the line. I want someone out there to check the system now. The video's down. Now, would you say that was proper authorization? Yes. Yo, what's up? Master Vid Tech Purvis at your service. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> this way. Yep. You definitely got a problem here, my brother. Fix it. Today? You mean like now? I want it fixed by tonight. If you can't fix it, get someone out here who can. Got it? I can fix it. If I can't fix it, then call the priest because it's dead. But, Mr. Baker, one thing. See, this, this is a fiber optic feed, man. I mean, it just don't fit into the schematic of things. You understand what I'm saying? So, therefore, I'm just going to each and every one of your rooms. Two hours, Max. Two hours. Yes, two hours. Right. Two hours. Did I stutter? Is there an echo? Duh. Hey, and I distinctly remember your guarantee on that video. Well, I scrambled the system. I just couldn't tap into the picture. It's not my fault. Right there. Dick. Oh, oh not back. You are chief of security at the Sovereign Hotel? Yeah, that's right. And you were called to respond after the defendant entered the hotel? Yeah, uh, Maggie, uh, Miss Holland called me. She was really worked up, said there was some crazy man at the hotel looking for Mr. Baker. And did you encounter the defendant? <laughs> You're damn right I encountered him. No, well, you might say he encountered me. Either way, it took me two weeks to heal up. <laughs> I'd like to explore that point. Are you trained in self-defense? Third-degree black belt karate. I can hold my own. Did he shoot you? No, but... Did you see a gun? Uh, my client caused you grievous personal injury. Grievous? Yeah. The kid's good. I weigh, uh, a good 230. He's 140, 150, but you gotta give him credit. He's got some good moves. And he came at me with a bat, a little sawed-off thing. This bat? Yeah. Could my client have killed you with this bat, a man much larger, a man trained in the martial arts? Yeah, sure, if he wanted to. I'd like another shot at him without it. Could my client, Billy Safford, have killed Mr. Baker with this bat? Baker? Oh, yeah. Baker was a suit. He was soft compared to me. Kid could have taken his head off. With this bat? With his hands. No, but for sure, with the bat, oh, yeah. Nothing further, Your Honor. Mr. Ford, in your opinion, your professional opinion, was the defendant violent at the time? Was he there to do physical harm? Yeah, right upside my head. Again, in your professional opinion, could the defendant have hidden other weapons on his person, say, a, a gun, perhaps? <laughs> well, yeah, sure, he must have. He shot Baker, didn't he? Objection! I'll withdraw the question. The uh, prosecution rests, Your Honor. Hero? You were awarded the...
bronze star and a purple heart for wounds received in combat while serving as a Marine. Yes, sir. Indeed, you were receiving therapy at the VA hospital when you first heard that your sister had been brutally murdered. Uh, objection, Your Honor. It's irrelevant. Where are you going with this, Counselor? Trying to establish my client's state of mind on the evening in question. Proceed, but get to the point. Overruled. You were released from the hospital just a day before going to the Sovereign Hotel, am I correct? Yes, sir. Billy? Exactly what did you do upon your release from the hospital? Well, I, uh... I, uh... went to my sister's apartment and I, uh... everything was cleared out except for some boxes. Mr. Baker, the victim, who was in the hotel? No, sir. Well, not until the lady told me he wasn't. There was something in the way she said it. But you had a plan to kill him. Oh, yeah. I had a plan. I planned to give him as much pain as he gave my sister. The guy was a pimp! Just answer the question. Now. Were you armed? I was armed. I was ready. Hey, hey. I don't want you, I want Baker. Well, you have me, fellas. I want you to turn around and go out the way you came in, and I won't have to hurt you. I swear I will, you murdering son of a bitch. Just like you killed Julie. Lee, I, I didn't. I didn't kill him. us to believe that after admittedly going to the hotel to even the score, strike that, to kill Mr. Baker, that you found him already mortally wounded? That's right. I mean, I didn't know he was shot at first. And the pistol, which has already been established as the murder weapon, you found that simply just lying in front of you on the floor? Yes, sir. Mr. Safford. Granting for a moment that things are as you described, didn't you know you'd be incriminating yourself by picking up the weapon? I guess so. Your Honor. Excuse me, Mr. Horton. I want to be clear on this. Why did you pick it up? It was a weapon of opportunity. Superior to the one I had. Superior to the bat. Yes, sir. Oh. Thank you for your indulgence, Mr. Horton, your witness. I have just one more point I'd like to make. You stated you were in the Marines? Yes, sir. Do you have a specialty? Underwater demolition. Explosives. So you were very acquainted with plastic explosives and their use. Your Honor, my client has not been charged with burglary or any offense involving explosives. If the prosecution wants to charge him, fine. If not, this line of questioning is totally inappropriate. I have nothing further with this witness, Your Honor.
you're excused. Oh, boy. I cannot watch any more of this. We've got six congressmen, 12 senators, and an elf. And it's all incriminating. Well, some of it's innocent. Face it. Everybody makes an ass out of themselves sometimes. Either way, there are dozens of people on these tapes that would love to kill Baker. And there's nothing on here that's going to get the kid off. Why? Huh? What's missing? The tape of the murder. Yeah. Julie Safford's murder. We've watched over 400 hours of tape. It's the only thing that's missing. And Baker would have destroyed that. Only if he killed her, but then he wouldn't have put it in the logbook. Somebody damn near blew up the hotel to get that tape, and it wasn't Billy Safford. Vic, why didn't you tell me you were coming? I didn't want anyone to be embarrassed. <laughs> I don't recall anyone ever being embarrassed in our company, Nick. I am. You made a mistake, Jake. I told you no more deals. I didn't ask for any. Safford didn't kill Baker. You did. What kind of a game is this? We've been friends a long time. It could never be long enough to excuse you for what you've done. And I don't give a damn about Baker. But I won't condone murder. I'm very proud of what I've done with my life, Nick. I'll lay my accomplishments up against any politician I know. So would I. But you're willing to let Safford die? Willing to let him go to the gas chamber for a murder you committed? No. No. I never would have let it go that far. You've already let it go too far. Way too far. Baker was blackmailing me. He was a bastard. And a greedy one. I mean, he had dummy companies set up to take a piece of every state program if I had given in to him. I'm talking about murder. Safford didn't blow the safe. He wasn't in the office. He didn't have time. You did. <sighs> wasn't as cold as that. Baker had a handful of rooms set aside for what he said the place was really for. Just rest. Chance to relax, you know? I checked in a few days before. But I swear to you, I never had any intention of killing him. I want to see Baker. I'm sorry, Mr. Baker is unavailable. If you could just leave your name. Safford. He'll know the name. I want to talk to Baker. Kill you. You're not gonna kill me. You kill little girls. The tape! Go to bed, old man. That tape's the only thing keeping me alive right now. No, it's not.
He could have destroyed me. You did that when you killed Julie Safford. He just held it over your head. You can't prove that. Do I have to? A 19-year-old girl cut up like that? Why? Why didn't you? Because! Because she wanted too much! She wanted a relationship. She knew I couldn't give her that. But she wouldn't take no for an answer. We argued. She threatened me. And then... I just went crazy. A lifetime of stresses and pressure just exploded in one, one horrible minute. And then... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a public figure, Nick. I have a family. I can't face that scrutiny. They can't. Please. Please. Leave me my dignity. Dignity. Make the note specific and handwritten. I'll be waiting for it. You, uh... Don't give an old friend much time. Dead friends have all the time in the world. than just erasing them. Hey, case closed. They don't need them anymore. Nobody does. You couldn't have known that Green was going to kill himself. I wish I hadn't. I know. He was an old friend, Nick. A little dignity was all he asked for. It's all I had left to give an old friend. When he pulled the trigger on himself, it was the end of his suicide. But his life was over the night he murdered Julie Safford. At least no more innocent people will be hurt. Yeah, well, I have to admit, there's a certain kind of justice to it. He was a good man. Everybody lost something. Julie Safford's a free man. Might not be if the jury had to decide. Yeah, and the way I see it, it'll work out better than a wash. <laughs> and who knows, maybe the kid will run for governor one day. You know, I was thinking about running. <laughs> no, no way, I think not. I was running my tapes through uh, the digital. I got the goods on you, babe. Tapes. Nick, I, I don't have anything on you. It, it was her. I mean, she was the one making all the noise. Ooh, Stop ah, it. Ah. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Tapes. That's it. That's the last of them. Not quite. Do I have to give up mine? You little criminal. You watched uh -huh. it, didn't you? I'll never tell. <laughs> you had to have been there. Uh -huh. 